Hi, this recording is to teach you how to format a paragraph in Word and then make headers and section headers and then make a table of contents. First of all, we'll bring up the document which I am using is the tale of the Bremen Town Musicians. And the first thing that I will do is go ahead and format the paragraphs. And usually then I'll use the standard MLA formatting. And first of all, I will go ahead and on references, Make sure the style is set to MLA. Then on the home tab, I can go ahead and do paragraphs. And alignment. And if I want to have any indentation, I will do it here. On this is I'm not going to have any spacing at all. on between and then it says multiple and what I will do is switch this all to double which is the MLA standard then if I wanted to I could either have this as first line indent and and notice what happens when I say okay everything is indented properly and then I can do this on an individual basis. If I go to just these two, I will change this to none, say OK. And then if I want to, I can change this so that these are indented properly. And I am just copying the information directly from files so you'll see some um, ones are British spelling or else there are some grammatical um, changes that are recommended but I am not going to do any of those changes. Then as we go through then I will go ahead and put in certain headers in certain places. Here, I am going to then put in a header. So this is under styles. And it's just a header too. Notice I have And I can do donkey. Then also, if I want, I can go ahead and select that. And then I can design I can just go ahead and copy this then go to file and info And size and then add a title and this is the name of the title here and then I could add well, I'll just have that authors and I'll just go ahead and
remove that person. And this is the backstage view. This is the info section. If you notice, I can things like titles, I can add tags, anything that have it. So then uh, this is just a sample story. And then it keeps time of when it's created, last modified. And then just going back into the main part. Then on insert, then I can do page numbers, text box. document properties and notice then set that to title and notice now it's set to title and it matches back to what was in the title of the main document then I have this as donkey and I want to be able to go ahead and change the spacing of any titles so that I can go back in and go to home and then paragraph and notice it's special none line spacing I'm going to want this is double then when I go back into headers Notice that on the home page, styles, header two, I can go ahead and select this. And then update header two to match selection. Since this is selection, it should update it so that when I come back here and then add a second header two, And just print in dog. Notice how it matches the spacing of the other one. And then here, I want another header two and two cat. Then here. I am going to then add another header two. And then rooster. Then I might add header one here. Again, I can go ahead and modify and I can give it another name if I want. And then it's easier to go ahead and just modify it this way. So I want to go in and modify the paragraph so that I am going to be a double. So OK. And then go back in here and say update heading one to match selection. So now I have that taken care of also. And let's see if they have.
then we can put in as many different ones as we want. Just what I can do a header one here. Notice how then it indents everything properly. I want another header one here. I can just go ahead and hit header one. And sleep. <clears throat> and so we have all the headers in now. We have this listed as the title. So then if we wanted to go ahead and start putting in page breaks. Then we could do it. And so here, then I can insert and I don't want a regular page break because I want a section break. And then do I want it on odd pages or do I want it next page? Then usually if this is a good form, we do odd pages. Why don't we just do this as next page right now? Notice then it has a break going down to the next page. Then from here, I'm going to go ahead and do. I shouldn't have done the title quite yet. Insert. Layout. References. There we go. Table of contents. Content should be there. We go. I just have to get out of the title area and then 
which type of table of contacts do I want? And I have more tables there, custom table of contents. And here I can go ahead and show page numbers. And so format, show three levels and options. Which will show me what the various options are. If I said OK, then notice how they are indented and it tells where each page is. And since these are subheaders, then they are indented slightly. And if I had any subheaders underneath, it would be indented slightly also. Now, if I wanted to, after they all are formed, then I could do <coughs> another section break here. Here, then insert a header one. Entering Bremen. And let's see if I want to insert a picture. I could just go ahead and then. on line pictures and then decide which one I want to do for the Bremen musicians. And there's a statue of them. So it depends on which one I want. Let's just buy out this one. Then insert. And then if you notice when I select this, then I have picture format. And I can send backwards, select pin, position, quick style. And I can choose one like rounded diagonal corner white. Theme color. I can choose a different themed color. Let's see if I want light blue. And then Go ahead and some of these are mutually exclusive. Then reflection. Then 3D rotation. Do something like that. And then glow, I can put a glow around it. Notice how the glow is slightly showing around it. And then bevel. I can add slightly beveled edges. You can see how this comes in. I'm not sure if that's been helpful. So I will go ahead and Stop recording. So, bye.